hi guys so welcome back to my channel how are you doing my lovely subscribers hope good you are welcome to this video and you're highly welcome to this channel if you are new to this channel hello you're welcome i'm linda and i do videos about ireland nursing in ireland schooling in ireland any information you would require this channel is good enough for you to learn a lot so if you are interested in such things just hang in and be a part of this channel and subscribe turn on your notification bell so you'll be part of this channel and don't forget to drop your like comment and share the video okay to spread the good news and good information to others in today's video we're gonna be talking about how you can study nursing in ireland as an international student in this particular video we're gonna be talking about undergraduate nursing in ireland as an international student but in another video i will bring master's degree nursing in Ireland is a different video. I don't want to put them together to avoid some confusion. So when you're watching this one, it's an undergraduate route to study nursing in Ireland. So let's keep watching. Nursing in Ireland is a big deal, like it's a big business in Ireland. It's a serious line of study or course of study in Ireland. And it's top notch, it's raised to the world standards. Ireland have good schools where you can study nursing, good schools that are equaling the world standard all over the world. Nursing in Ireland equips students with the knowledge, skill, and attitude necessary to provide compassionate care for patients. To apply for studying nursing in Ireland, you have to go through CAO. CAO stands for Central Applications Office. This is a body that oversees everything about admission, university admissions in Ireland. Everybody has to apply through CAO, but for UCD, international students can apply directly to the school. So you find out when you're applying, with the schools of your choice, you email them, ask them more information on how you can get admitted and they will still direct you to CAO but if you have an opportunity or there's a route where you can apply directly to them the school will still let you know all right how to apply application starts from September to the 1st of February the price of application is 45 euros in case they, those that do paper application but online application is discounted to 30 euros this online application that is discounted last until the 20th of january 2024 that means if you didn't apply online until the 20th of january 2024 you will be paying 45 euros for application and late application is 60 euros and this counts from any application done from 1st may 2024 for international students, there are two categories involved. These categories are mature students and the Living Start student. The Living Start student are any student that is less than 23 years before being admitted into the school. You are less than 23 years. You will be judged by your Living Start. But a mature student is anyone that is older than 23 years of age from the day that are being admitted into the university. If you are 23 years of age, on the date you are being admitted into your school, you will be termed as a matured student. So if you know you will be 23 years of age by then, you will choose the matured student's route to get this admission. Now, this matured student's route, when you indicate that you will be this year by the admission, months of your study then you will choose that route then when you choose that route and you are an international student cao will be carrying you along they'll be writing you informing you if you're qualified if you are chosen there's an exam mature students will take they are no longer judged by their first school living certificate they are judged by aptitude tests, which mature students will take. EAO will invite you over to Ireland to come and take this exam. Therefore, you will receive an invite for this exam and you have to go to the embassy, do the due processes and you come over to Ireland to take this exam. This exam is being taken and the result comes out before the leaving start is taken. And they have a number of 
places provided for matured students so it doesn't interfere with the living start students so if you are more than 23 years of age you will have to choose the mature students route to get registered on the cao portal having here the two routes involved there are the admission requirements the number one requirement is high school transcript with at least 60 percent and the subject prerequisites are english maths biology chemistry and physics there's an english proficiency requirement of 6.5 or above in IELTS or any equivalent and you need to provide a resume or your cv you need to provide a personal statement you also need letter of reference i think this letter of reference is preferably from your school from your secondary school maybe from your principal so nothing in ireland lasts for four years or in some cases it can last for four and a half years when you have these children nursing combined together with general nursing or general nursing combined together with another type of nursing they can be grouped together to last for four and a half years instead of you doing them separately four years and 18 months that are grouped together as a four and a half years course upon successful completion of the program students are awarded bsc nursing degree honors in nursing and they're given the title of registered nurse they will be registered with the nmbi direct entry registration okay that the g1 registrants now they move ahead to get job and employed in ireland once you have finished your four years nursing course in ireland there are 44 universities offering nursing studies in ireland therefore you can study nursing in 44 universities and there are several specializations to choose from which includes general nursing mental health nursing intellectual disability nursing children nursing or pediatric nursing old people's nursing or geriatric nursing or midwifery so you have all these specializations to choose from your undergraduate studies but other specializations they are the ones you can do in your masters or ireland. why do you study nursing in ireland irish institution of higher education offer bsc nursing degrees not only to general nurses but also to mental health nurses and to intellectual disability nurses ireland is one of the happiest countries in the world so you have this huge happy community student life and intercultural relationship with other students international students studying in ireland they can work while they study while they study they can work 20 hours when the semesters are on but during holidays, they can increase to working 40 hours in Ireland. So that's it. Another pro. point is that nursing is in high demand in Ireland. They always do this international recruitment of nurses from other countries. So if you are a youngster and you are about going to university and your parents can afford it, bring it to Ireland to study for your four years direct. That means you've gotten the nursing pin already because upon completion of your studies you will be given the pain and you'll be working in ireland from there you've already built your documents within the four years you're studying and from there you upgrade to your passport level you see so studying nursing directly as an undergraduate by the time you complete you are already nearing your citizenship in ireland nurses in ireland earn about fifty six thousand euros which is at the statement level so that means they are highly paid in ireland comparing to other neighboring countries so if you're trying to move to uh, study in abroad when you have the means ireland is a good choice for you because you'll be employed immediately and you can also work as a student so you don't need to start looking for another country to migrate to go and work once you are done with your studies, you are made life. Ireland offers a holistic education when it comes to nursing. As for general nursing, the universities provide the following courses in the course of your study. Medical nursing and general specialists. Surgical nursing and general specialists. Emergency nursing department. Children nursing department. Mental health nursing. Care of the older person nursing. Primary health care and community health nursing. Operating theater nursing, 
maternity nursing and management and leadership in nursing so you get to learn all this throughout your four years as a student nurse by the time you come out you can work in any part of the nursing sector as i mentioned there are many universities in ireland where you can study nursing but these are a list of the few universities i will mention to you so if you're interested search up these universities know their profile their requirements for international nurses so you can try to find your place in those universities the number one university is trinity college this college is in the heart of dublin and is very popular and is a very old university and has this high ranking all over the world so after trinity college we also have university college dublin we also have university college Cork. this is the school i went <laughs> university college Cork is a very good school even i thought it would come to the first school on the line but i saw it third because i had a good nursing experience in university college Cork. everything about them is good so to talk more of the two that are above them on the list you can imagine next one on the line is royal college of surgeons in ireland that's rcsi so this rcsi is a school of its own it has medical school it has nursing school it has different parts of schools in healthcare on different departments they keep writing me several times to come and do some certificates on this on that on that and that the body that sees about this aptitude test when and an overseeing nurse wants to come to Ireland to work. Is this ROCSI that arranges the exam, the aptitude test? So they also have a school of nursing. So it will be a good choice for you to apply to them too. And they are very open for applications. Okay. We have National University of Ireland, Galway. We have University of Limerick, Dublin City University, National University of Ireland System. Waterford Institute of Technology. These I mentioned are just a few among the other universities. So you try, there's one in Dundalk, Sligo, Letterkenny. So try and browse and make your choices, okay? Tuition fees. Undergraduate nursing cost takes about 25,000 to 40,000 tuition fee per year. But this fee depends on the school they all don't have the same fee it's just differentiated between the schools as i know trinity college is more expensive than some other colleges so any college of your interest browse you will see their price it's not hidden they always show it once you browse the international student route the fees will always show up so you know if you can afford that or not Talking about tuition fees, there are also scholarships provided for international students from many angles. So one of them are NUI International Scholarships. This one is offered by National University of Ireland. There is also Erasmus Mendes. Just search this up, Erasmus Mendes. Search it up. If they have anything scholarship going on, just try to enroll into it okay another one is gsls travel fellowship so these are scholarship bodies so you try search them up browse about them and find out what's going on on getting some of this scholarship if you're lucky enough to get them this scholarship some of them see about your tuition fee 100 percent and some have some percentages some may not be like totally 100% and some of them see about your upkeep and welfare, even your cost of living. Some scholarships covers those. So these three I mentioned, just browse them up. I'll also do another video just for scholarships in Ireland 2024. So I'll come up with that. That's why you should subscribe to the channel and keep watching my videos. All right. Now let's talk about the career scope. Like what next after graduating? So once you pass out as an Irish nurse, you have your pain, you are allowed to work, like you're free to work in any part of Ireland you wish. Irish nurses are not only limited to work in the clinical aspect, they can find their ways in diverse aspects of the workforce, like they can work in various places in Ireland, okay? So the main employers for Irish nurses are 
NMBI, that's the Nursing and Midwifery Board of Ireland. Then the HSC, that's the Head Service Executive in Ireland. This body oversees about hospitals, nursing homes, and they, they rule over those bodies in Ireland, the organizational bodies that make the rules in Ireland. NMBI is the organizational body for the registration and standard of studies in Ireland for nurses and midwives and any other aspect of nursing in Ireland and registration, NMBI oversees that. So we have private hospitals, HSC is about the uh, government public hospitals. So once I say HSC, every public hospital, all these big government hospitals, the Mata, the Connolly, Tala University, all of those belongs to HSC. But there are also other private hospitals such as uh, Mata Private, uh, the Bacon Hospital, Hermitage Clinic, all of those are private. So they are also heavily employing nurses graduated from Ireland. Now you also find employment from nursing homes. There are several lots of nursing homes in Ireland. They also employ nurses. Now voluntary organization also come up the employing nurses such as St. Michael's, Shiva's Town. There are lots of voluntary organizations and they are heavy here in Ireland. We have St. Patrick's, we have uh, St. Vincent's, all of those have organizations where they employ nurses. There are also schools which employ nurses. There are lots of schools and social organizations that also give employment to nurses. So even if you are a nurse and you don't want to work in the critical clinical aspect or environment, you can find your ways with all these voluntary organizations. And there are also all these ID homes that they build out, like they build a home where people are kept and are being taken care of. Nurses are also employed in such places and it's not like hospitals, they are also like homes. So you have to choose. There are varieties of places of work to choose, not just when you're a nurse, you'll be in the hospital every day. It doesn't mean that. There are many aspects and many ways where you can work and many organizations where you can work without being present in side-by-side, -side, bedside nursing, you know? So these are the careers. Like when you are applying for a job, these are the career names you will use. Like you will find that looking for this type of nurse, that type of nurse. So let me mention some of them here in this video. They have adult nurse. Then we have children nurse. They always use that children nurse instead of pediatric nurse. But we know it's the same thing. They just mean the same thing. Children nurse. We have here mental health nurse. We know what that means. On job descriptions or job adverts, you go with these names I'm mentioning. That's what you will likely see there on the job ads. So we also have midwives, you know, midwives. We have paramedics. We have therapists. We have learning disability nurse. These are those that studied intellectual disability in school. We have nurse counselor. We also have social workers. So being a nurse is a diverse profession. Like you find yourself working in different places. And some nurses also work in GP's office. Like they don't work in hospital, they work with the GP's. So when you study nursing, it's so vast and you can upgrade during your master's to go further. Once you have the degree in Ireland, like the first degree of nursing, the bachelor's degree, you can move ahead to choose any course of your choice in your master's. You can become an advanced nurse practitioner and you'll be working with GP. You can become a nurse prescriber. You have career advancement, you have advantage, you have exposure. By the time you finish your four year studies, on your fifth year, you apply for your passport, like your documents must have grown and you can move, you can travel to any country with the passport. So it gives you a career pathway and also gives you a free movement to explore in your career, all right? So let me stop there for now. In the next video, I'll be bringing you how you can study master's degree in nursing 
as an international student, okay? How to study master's degree nursing and as an international student. Most people are asking for this, but I won't go straight to do the master's without doing the undergraduate so it can be well differentiated and people will well understand them without getting confused so watch out for that video is coming up next have you liked this video please like share comment and subscribe to my channel also click the notification bell for more interesting video all right see you in my next video bye